Tusculum University is supporting the humanitarian relief efforts in Ukraine with a special fundraiser coming up later this week. Here to tell us more is Yaro Natasku of Restore Ukraine. Welcome. Thank you, Chris, very much. This is a project that you and your brother have taken on, isn't it? Uh, correct, yes. The story behind it was that there are a lot of stories that are not heard overseas, and we started brainstorming what would be the means for us to share the stories of the people who are at the front line, who are paramedics, who are the front line soldiers, to bring those stories here to East Tennessee. And the way we decided to do it is through the art. And several art pieces that are going to be up for auction that are on display right now at Tusculum University. Tell us about those, those, those pieces of art. Those pieces of art were created in Ukraine by Ukrainians. This is the most important part. It has taken us many more months to actually rescue that art from the battlefields, and they're now here at Tusculum University. They're hanging at, at, the, at the gallery down there, and that's what this art auction is about, is raising money for relief efforts. Tell us, uh, it's, it's so vitally important to do this, isn't it? Absolutely. The proceeds from the auction will go to purchase construction materials for the households that were damaged this winter. So the way it will work for the people, they will come to a warehouse with a $1,000 voucher. Mm -hmm. And they will claim whatever construction materials they need to rehabilitate their own household. And tell us, you and your brother, I mean, just inspired to do this, weren't you? Correct. We started as a private fundraiser. We just asked friends and family, anybody else who we had on our contact list. And then, of course, the need evolved, uh, sadly, the devastation of the war amounts. And we also had to evolve to reflect on humanitarian uh, crisis. So we grew now to a nonprofit that raised over $2 million. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Tell us about the art itself, where the art came from. The art came from the city called Kharkiv, where we hosted an old Ukrainian exhibition. So we actually had more than 100 artists participating in our uh, show. But we gave them an assignment. Please paint about Ukrainian culture, mm -hmm. Ukrainian people, Ukrainian heritage. And they have come up with very unique ways to do it. And actually, you can see it right. on the painting here, where the flower is blooming with hand grenades. And I want to read shortly a uh, short testimony of an artist Yes, please describing do. The please work. do. This is what she said. The artist herself interprets this decision as a metaphor for military and technological motives sprouting into Ukrainian folk culture, which is, in other words, for her to say that to understand Ukrainian art is to understand the footprint of war on its people. So these are going to be up for auction, and you can come view, view them right now. But talk to me about the, the process that people will go through to actually bid on, the, on these pieces of art. We will organize the whole exhibition and auctions through a silent auction. So we start our show at 5.30 p.m., mm -hmm. but right after we will start collecting the bids, and at 7, we will close the bid. So that's a very, I think, unique opportunity uh, to... Uh, bring a piece of Ukrainian culture right. with you at home, but also uniquely to help many people on the ground in Ukraine. And that's what it's all about. Yaro, thank you for coming by today. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Let's give you some information. Restore Ukraine Art Auction Fundraiser at Tusculum University happening Thursday, 5.30 to 7 p.m. Clem Allison Art Gallery. If you'd like more information, please go to restore.ukraine.org.